This suspect was arrested on the scene without incident. He went into police custody willingly. Uh, he's been locked up here at the Wayne County Jail ever since. Today, though, he just didn't feel like going into court. Take a look. He refuses to put on clothes. Yes, he's naked right now. It was supposed to be a routine court appearance for Winston Kirtley Jr. He's the Detroit man who allegedly shot eight people, killing two of them because someone in the group was parked in the street, blocking his driveway. It happened on Coyle Street in the early morning hours of July 31st. This is video of the defendant during his first court appearance. The court finds you to be a danger to the community and therefore will remain you in the custody. But on Friday. Right now he's currently housed on our mental health unit and he will not put any clothes on. Kurtley's attorney a bit perplexed by the whole thing. My question was, is he refusing to participate? He's refusing to put on clothes, so in a word, yes. Investigators say Whitley used a high-profile rifle in the shooting, firing from inside his west side home. When police arrested him on scene, they found 11 weapons strategically placed throughout the house. Neighbors telling Fox 2 Kurtley lived alone and often appeared angry and agitated. Friday, his attorney weighing in on his client's mental state. Um, the first time I visited him, he was not very responsive at all. Yesterday, I went to see him again. I found him to be on the psychiatric floor. I found him to be very much in a confused state of mind, as well as very aggressive. So, not surprisingly, the judge has ordered a mental competency evaluation for Kurtley, and he is scheduled to be back in court, not until November. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story, bring you updates as soon as we get them. Reporting live downtown, Camila Mary, Fox 2 News. Yeah, like we said at the outset, clearly this is ridiculous behavior. Does the judge say anything else about what he is going to demand of this suspect? Well, you know, it obviously it was a Zoom hearing, right? And so we're, we're watching it after the fact. Uh, so he was never actually going to be physically in court, but he was going to be in that specific area where the uh, defendants go. You know, they waited for him. They decided they were going to wait. And then, you know, you heard the deputy, and she, she came back a couple times. She's like, he's not putting his clothes on. He's naked. He, he's not. We can't do this. So they decided, obviously, to postpone it. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. I don't think this is the end of this story. But uh, I did do want to tell you that I did talk to a family member of one of the deceased victims and he said he's aware of what's going on and he's just thankful that he's locked up here uh, in the Wayne County Jail. No bond and there's no chance at all that he could get out and hurt anyone else. Hillary Root, back to you. And a lot of people probably thankful tonight that he is behind bars. Camila Mary live for us tonight.